Hi guys, this is Victor and welcome to my DIY time channel. And in this video I want to share with you how to fix the airbag light with error code B1861. I had this airbag light from the very first day when I got this car. I bought it used about a year ago and it had a lot of mechanical and electrical issues that I intended to fix myself. And because of all of those issues I got this car for very very cheap. To troubleshoot this problem, I used the diagnostic car scanner to read the error codes related to the airbag warning light. And for that you'll need a good diagnostic scanner that's capable of reading and erasing airbag error codes. I'm personally using this blue driver scanner and it's capable of reading ABS, airbag and check engine lights and it has many other useful features as well. If you're interested I'm gonna post a link for this tool in the description area below. So I've scanned the car ECU and I've got this error code B1861 which stands for open in the knee airbag skip circuit on the driver's side. I did some research online and I figured that I will need to replace the knee airbag connector on the driver's side. And also let me show you how I knew that the problem was with the connector itself and not something else. But before I do this let me start with a very serious warning. Make sure to disconnect negative terminal of the battery for at least 2 minutes before you start working on any of the airbag system components. Failing to do so may result in a serious injury or death if you accidentally short the circuit and deploy the airbag. Also, if you're not comfortable doing this yourself or if you don't have prior experience or qualifications to work on airbag systems, I suggest you find a qualified mechanic and have him take a look at this and fix this for you, just to be safe. Otherwise, do it at your own risk. To get to the knee airbag, first you'll need to remove the knee panel under the steering wheel. First you'll need to remove two Phillips screws. Then you'll need to disconnect the OBD2 connector. You can use a flathead screwdriver to do that. After you detach it from the panel, just push it inside. Next you'll need to pull the knee panel down and forward. The reason is there's this metal hook that's still holding it in place and you need to go around it. And finally there's a connector for the LED light on the bottom of the knee panel. Depress the tab and then disconnect the connector. And here's the location of the knee airbag scheme connector. So I decided to visually inspect the connector and check if it's possibly became loose or got disconnected for any reason. And once again, safety reminder, I disconnected the battery and waited for at least two minutes before I touched this airbag. When I pushed on the connector I felt how it moved. It didn't make any clicking sound, but it was definitely not seated all the way in and there was a little bit of a play. So it definitely looked like the connector was slightly loose. Then I reconnected the battery and started the car. After a few seconds the airbag light disappeared. I thought the problem was fixed, but after driving my car for a few hours the airbag light came back again. So there are two things you can try to fix this problem. First method is very simple, easy and inexpensive. I've read on Lexus forums that some people were able to fix this by applying tune-up dielectric grease to the airbag electrical connector. This method will work if the problem was caused by oxidation or corrosion and you can pick up this grease for less than $7, just use a link in the description area below. Otherwise, you will have to replace the electrical connector. And luckily for me, I didn't have to do any of those. Apparently this is a very common issue on many Lexus cars and because of that I've got a letter from Lexus headquarters saying that they're gonna fix it for free on my car as a part of the customer support program. And if you're interested, you can pause now and read all of the details about this customer support program in the letter that I received from Lexus. So if you are experiencing the same exact problem, you may want to check on the Lexus website and see if your car qualifies for the customer support program to get it repaired for free. 
Alright, that's pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful and if so, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I post videos about fixing Lexus, Toyota and Scion cars here. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.